Chosen Boko and Kurisavas and Dr. Sukoko Batin and Batuma for Lak Valenzu and Matot, O Anti Usha Ulok Smith, Los Mithulana, Abu Dhabi, Golama Arab, Sizoland, K, so six to K, filled with footy when in the house, figure six to foot to K, Uti Abandu Bewas, Uti Bepil. Nam Tanjin, Miti Age. School men were with him. Don't compromise your culture. The, the topic, the, this video, it says that don't compromise your culture. Uh, whenever I go, whenever I compare, because if, if you may uh, when you do your research, you compare this culture and that culture and that culture and that culture. But what I can say is on what uh, 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 I, I've seen here, it's that they don't compromise their culture. They don't compromise who they are. They don't. They don't. They don't from the language, uh, even at the, uh, when they announce this an announcement in the flight, they start with their own language, and then they will come with English, and then they'll, English obvious now, they, they, they put all of us together in explaining something. So if you don't understand English and you don't understand their language, then tough luck is up to you. Uh, when you get here, you can see, yes, they communicate with you in terms of English and everything, but when you look at them, when you look at them, how they're dressing, their culture, if you go to their malls, uh, it, it's a toilet, it's a male's, female's, uh, where you, you change the baby nappy, uh, and then it's a prayer room. You know, and each and every set of toilet in one mall, uh, you, you, you get that set of, of rooms that I've, I've mentioned. Uh, even at the hotel, each and every floor has a room, a prayer room. So they, they, they understand who they are. They believe in what they, they, what, if, what they have, which is their culture. It's enough. But if we go to South Africa, you... We're so confused, guys. We're so confused, guys. Uh, we don't. We don't know what we want. We don't. We we are all over. We are all over. We 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 we're going with this uh, 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 church. We're going with that church. You know, you're going to that church and everything. Uh, uh, when I say uh, when I say, don't compromise your culture. Don't compromise who you really are for Christianity. The people that I'm talking about, yes, I've mentioned the issue of uh, prayer and everything because it's their culture. It's, it's, it's exactly who they are. Their church is their culture. And they, are, they don't compromise that. Forget it. It will never happen. It will never happen that they compromise that. But Tina, we don't. We are not focused. We don't. We don't stay in one church. Uh, we don't stay in one way of getting healed. Uh, we, we just all over. And I had an opportunity to talk to somebody. I think it was yesterday. But it was just a brief uh, conversation about cultures and everything. I've asked him a simple thing. He said, "How many cultures do you have here?" He said, "Not more than three. I didn't even have to ask Uti. Which, which cultures are they? And then he said, uh, uh, when he leaves, but there's only one that matters. You can tell. And really you can tell. But we don't have that team. We don't have that. So, the, the purpose of this video is to say, to ask, because I'm also involved myself in this, because I'm also a South African. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to come here and, 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 pretend as if I'm better than the rest. I'm also an African. So I'm saying here now is how, how much do we understand our way of getting help? Because each and every tribe, they, are, they should know like higher sipilangani. Like higher yini that makes us to survive. I'm not saying people, they mustn't now, people, they mustn't uh, pray, 
they mustn't go to church. I'm not saying that everybody belongs to uh, getting help via traditional healing and everything. No, I'm not into that. I'm simply saying that what is your way? Have you done a research now? Within your culture, ye need that made you to survive or that made your family to be where it is today. Somebody might, might say to me, okay, Coco, what if you grew up in a family whereby they were praying and everything? Find out what works for you. Is that praying works for you? If it's not, find out what works for you. And then start your family tree from where you are, saying, Mina, Nengloyami, from now, moving forward, this is how we're going to do things. And it's, it's, it's even on the other side. If, if ever uh, you, 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 are, uh, um, uh, you believe in ancestors, a kind of culture and everything, and you can see what it, in, in, it's not working for me. It's not working for me. I want to start my own culture. And my own culture is that I am not going to burn in Pepoleka. My culture says I am not going to slaughter anymore. But be careful when you change what you grew up with. Don't then go and start what you don't know or how it was formed. That's the problem that we have. We leave what we know instead of developing, instead of saying, okay, I'm tired of this is not working for me. What could be wrong within this culture that is no longer working for me? Because other cultures, you must remember, other cultures, they, they get disturbed or they get valueless because of now there's somebody who is personalizing this culture they are not to, they are not making it better but they are simply trying to make it to benefit them rather than us like i then you cannot change your culture based on that maybe you should do the same to say okay it's not working for me this used to work for the family because there was ukoko there was mkulu there was o baba then there was o makoto o mama you understand but now umuzu sunnani it's no longer working. You understand? Uh, for example, uh, like Haya, when, when, when parents came uh, together as a, as a festive, they used to give Goko everything. Because it was a menu of us and everything. Goko will then make sure that everybody gets to eat and everything. But because Goko is no longer there, things no longer happen in the same way. So we are, we are not going to do that anymore. It's simple. So, this thing of culture is so sensitive in such a way that people think oh, when, you, when you are using the word culture, it means uh, you are worshipping a spirit that is unknown. Gandhi, you are still worshipping the spirit of ancestors. I know many people, they are scared of using the word worshipping. I, but you'll hear them say, I'm worshipping Jesus Christ. But when it comes to saying, I'm worshipping my ancestors, you'll see people say, no, 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 I, I'm recognizing them, I'm not worshipping them. Well, some of us, we worship them because we're worshipping the spirit that is part and parcel of us for donkey years. Because I'm going to be a spirit again, my children are going to be a spirit and everything. So if I'm saying I don't worship this positive spirit, when talk about spirit, everybody is talking about a positive spirit. Nobody wants a negative spirit. So it depends when you are no longer alive, what spirit do you become? You work for to be a good spirit. Sometimes you wish for, but you end up being a good spirit. Why? By doing what is good. So that's why I ask, uh, 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 I've, I've asked some uh, on the other video to say, on the lifestyle that you're living now, the way we do things and everything. What kind of ancestors are you going to be? That's a topic for another day. We're talking about culture. We talk about don't compromise your culture. Sometimes we are struggling because you want, the only thing that you want, you want your ancestors to give you money, but you don't want your ancestors to guide you towards making money. 
You just want your ancestors to open things. I am struggling. Can't waste my mother. Ever since my mama died, you know, I thought things would be fine because she knows the situation. My father is doing nothing for me. I have never even dreamed of him. He knows what the situation we are facing and everything. You are worried about what you expect your father or whoever is your ancestor now to do. You are not worried about having a relationship with them. Have you ever went to a traditional healer and said, I want to have a relationship with my ancestors? I want to know my ancestors better. I want to understand where they are better. I want to understand how do they communicate with me so that it's able me, it enables me to fuse that communication with cultures and rituals that needs to be done. Remember, culture and ritual are two different things. Th those are two different things. We are going to do a video, you know, comparing to say uh, what, what is a culture, what is a ritual. A ritual is something that you do in order to achieve something. A culture is something that you, you must do because of it's something that it's been done here at home or it's something that it's been planned to say this is how we do things. But a ritual depends You understand? The ritual depends. So it's 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 it's, it's, it's you, you, you 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 ritual depends on what needs to be done. So a ritual is something that within our culture we then do this ritual as a sign of whatever. So that's why I'm saying that that alone is too complicated it or rather it will be too complicated for now that alone it needs to be done separately so moving forward we need to be serious about our cultures because for now we are seriously not focused in terms of who we are and trust me that's why nothing works for us absolutely nothing works for us there's nothing, nothing, nothing that works for us because we don't know who we are. We don't even try to start our own thing. So here where I am, people are making it. Many people are surviving. They're making money and everything because they understand who they are. Don't stop hiding with the, uh, uh, with the Bible. Don't hide with Christianity. Stop hiding with Christianity. Understand yourself, would you, who you are, your tribe. Understand where does your tribe come from, how things were done here. Don't, don't wait until it's too late to say, somebody will say, hey, Scott, I don't know, I don't even know where to start. How will I know? How will I know? Salva Sendo to Kokoba Tinemba, Tuma Vula Volems, my daughter. Understand your culture, know your culture. Be proud about your culture. Don't compromise your culture. Stay focused. 035-799-5703. 035-799-5703. We're live at Abu Dhabi, Tokuzani.